joining us now, Virginia Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears. Lieutenant Governor, it's a pleasure. We're excited to have you on. What was your reaction when you heard about this story? You know, parents are scared. They're upset about what's going on with their children in schools. You know, Liz, I, I want to smile because I'm on camera, but I tell you inside, I am so angry because I can't imagine that this is what's happening in our schools in Virginia, some of our schools, 17 schools, when we were told, oh, don't worry about it, it's just one school. And here we have schools that are withholding information that are crucial to a child's success. We're talking about free tuition. We're talking about recognizing achievement. My God, when did that become controversial, Liz? You know, to your point, they're missing out on scholarship money. How about this? I mean, this feels like they always talk about systemic bias, right? Implicit bias. It sure feels like that. I mean, should every school official who did this turn over half their pay so they're all paid equally to fix income inequality? Should they be fired? You know, should they be just, like, gotten rid of? I mean, what's next? Get rid of the Super Bowl because the losers are going to feel inadequate? You know what I mean, Lieutenant Governor? I know exactly what you mean, and you know who else knows what you mean? The voters. The voters who sent us here, who changed everything top to bottom in Virginia. The lieutenant governor's office, the governor's office, the attorney general, and the House, and said, we want different. We want our children to succeed, and we want you to start listening to us as parents. We mean what we say. Recognize our children. Stop this darned equal outcomes. It doesn't work. There is no place in life that it works. You're not going to work for the same pay as somebody else who's working half the time. So why would you want it for my child? And it shouldn't be that here in Virginia, we also had to pass a law that said, parents are responsible for the upbringing, the education and care of their own children. My God, these are common sense things, and yet we had to do that. And here it is now, Governor Yunkin had to put in proposed legislation that says, if my child has earned, earned an award, earned some kind of recognition as a result of, of the good things that he has done, as the work he's put out, you will not withhold that information from him. My God. I, you know, I'm just in shock. You're waiting for the next shoe to drop. What is wrong with these schools? What is wrong with these school boards? It blows your mind. You know, so, so who, who's doing this when you look at the issue? Who, who are these people doing this? Well, I got to tell you, we don't like to play these political games, but folks, we've got to call a spade a spade. These are ultra leftist Democrats who are doing this because you know that they always know what's best for the rest of us, except they don't live by these kind of rules. I guarantee that if it had been their child who had earned these awards, and maybe we ought to investigate if they had children who had earned these awards, did they keep them from getting these awards, their own children, or did they pass them through? And it's all the rest of us who suffer. You know, this is why I have in. Yeah, go ahead. I have a bill, HB 1508, and it's about parental school choice. It's being carried by De uh, Delegate Glenn Davis. God bless him, because I tell you, we're getting hit from all sides. And what it says is parents have finally have the chance to decide where their children should go to school. It's not the be-all and the end-all. Two-thirds of the funding stays with the local schools. Only a third goes. And my God, it seems like that's not enough. But we've got to start somewhere because this is the craziness we're trying to get away from. So teachers unions are fighting that? Teachers unions are fighting it. Democrats, liberal Democrats are fighting it. We had uh, parents from public housing we, we telling the, the education subcommittee that they want to do this. They want to be able to decide where their children should, should go to school because you have Democrats who are saying, ultra Democrats, ultra left, who are saying, no, black parents don't want this. We provided those and uh, those people to come and talk to them. And these the, these Democrats, one of them said to the parents face that, well, you can make that decision right now. They just told you they can't afford it and they want it. This parent told you that they're working three jobs in order to keep their child in the school. Then another one said, well, they're concerned about the children who are not going to take this opportunity. But guess what? It was all hypocrisy but because this Democrat puts his child in private schools not once but twice. So apparently it doesn't work for him. Yeah, so, so that's an important point that you just made, right? I mean, it's the attitude is like the taxpayers work for them when they work for us. Taxpayers pay their salaries. I mean, in this report, Fairfax County Public Schools, 
They paid a so-called equity consultant $450,000 out of taxpayer money for nine months to work on things like this, and then you get equal outcomes for every student. You never get equal outcomes with any student, period. It doesn't work like that. You don't get equal outcomes with anything in life, anything. Uh, as, as we said, these, these uh, rogue, these rogue educators, they've gone off their rocker. Let me just say it that way, because I, I don't know what else to call it. And I'm telling you that these people should be fired. Don't apologize, just go. You have done a wrong thing, you've wronged my child, I can't get that back, but you already have your education and you're denying my child that ability. We're not standing for it. And let me finally say this. The teachers unions who are against parents having the ability to decide where their child should attend school, guess what? If this thing passes, don't you be don't 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 you be surprised when these teachers unions run and try to find teachers who are now in private schools to go and organize them. It's always about the money for these teachers unions. It's not about the child and it's not about the teachers. It's about the dues, to your point. It's about the dues. It's about the money, folks. Don't, 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 don't let them, them, them kid you. No, no. Will you come back on the show? That was a great interview, Lieutenant Governor. It's good to see you. Please come back on the show. We love interviewing you. It's a, that, was a, that was really I insightful. I will because I will fight for these kids. So when you say you'll fight for the kids, when they, I just one last question. When you talk to, as you point out, these far-left Democrats and the teachers' union, and you say things like that, what is their, and you say that what they're doing is wrong, what is their response? Their response is, we know best for the parents. And do you know what parents they're talking about? Black and brown parents. Because they're assuming that we're all dumb. But I tell you what, we had Democrats, black, Latino, and they watched every single Democrat on that subcommittee vote against them, look them dead in their eye and vote against them. So eyes are opening. These are the things we prayed for. Yes, we prayed for these eyes to be open. And folks, it's going to be different come election time in certain places. Got it. Come back soon. Lieutenant Governor Winston Merle Sears, a Thank pleasure you. having you on. Thank you for joining us tonight.